Hi friends, welcome. We will try to create PDF document using long text means as I have a 5-6 uh, pages of text with me and I want to create a PDF document using that text. So based on the amount of text per page, automatically line breaks will be added and multiple pages will be created based on the length of the text I have. So for that we will be using report lab again and we will be using the collab uh, platform to generate our PDF documents. Visit this URL, this is there in the link is available in the description. Scroll down, come down, you can read all these tutorials and here is the link to GitHub page. Click this link and in the GitHub page the entire source code will be displayed here. This is a Jupyter notebook only, you can download and use it or here at the top, open in Collab, the link is there, just click that link. The entire this uh, Collab platform you will get this and run one by one. Uh, this is our Collab platform and uh, these are the steps we will follow. Collab platform, you just need a Google account or a Gmail ID, whatever you call it. Just log into your Google account and follow the link, you will be landing in, a, in this page. So here it is, the first uh, cell, it's a Jupyter notebook. We'll run this one and uh, import our, uh, install our report lab library. It will uh, install for us. So this platform will be ready for our uh, creating the PDF documents. So this in first time, this installation will take a bit time. Anyway, it's done now. So report lab is installed. Now all the modules are available to us. So I will just copy some modules here and paste it because these are the necessary, necessary uh, modules I'll be using it. I'm pasting it here. These are the things I'm just running it once. So yeah, now the, all the modules are available. Now what happens is I have to create a document. So in, in, in this system, this will be available virtually means in my connected this directory, this place it will be available here. So I what I will do, I will add this. But in you, if you are using in your local system, use a full path, your, your drive name, directory name, what the file will be created. So that you give. So I am giving the name as my path is equal to uh, within the codes because my PDF, whatever whatever file name you want to give, give this one. You change this pass in your local system. Suppose you are using a Jupyter notebook in your local system, then D, then D drive suppose, D, then directory name, then the file name you give. Now, because we, are, we have to generate an object for that, so what I am going to do is, I will create an object using our simple doc template. So DOC, this is the this one, what I will be using this. Uh, simple doc, now I think simple doc template and here I am using my path. My path is just what I have declared at the top, my path. Now page size, page size is equal to letter. This letter I have imported it here. So this has a predefined sizes that is done. Let me just run it once. See if it is uh, my path, sorry, P A T, my path. I have to, sorry, I have to run this one, then only it will take this. My path, now I will run this. Fine. So this is, now this is, now get a sample style sheet because I will be integrating it with a sample. So what I have to do is I have to add a style here. So I am giving the name styles. Now get sample style sheet this is <clears throat> here you can see i have line here above i have imported this so that i am using it here now style because this i will be using within my template so styles now what it is i am using normal so i think n is uppercase i have to write so Fine, so this is, this one I got it, let me just run this once, fine. Now here is a long text. Now what happened, this is something I have just a text I have copied, create a variable long text within this, uh, this is a string I have written. You can write your own string here, not necessarily that this you use it. So your story you write it, but here you note that I have repeated this five times. Keep on increasing, in, if you want it, 10 times, 
I have multiplied it by 5. So, this paragraph is 5 times repeated. In your case, you keep on increasing this. Now, after the once this, I am creating a blank list here. So, that I will be storing it here, creating it elements equal to list. Now, this I will be using it. So, inside that, I will break this and store one by one. So, here it is. I will just create one more code block here. This is the one. Now, what I am going to write is for, for paragraph in long text. What is the long text? Is that the above what you have here it is. This is what the long text is. So, this text I am breaking it. So, using split. This is a string break command. So, it will break it across each line break. So, n means across each line break, it will this list will be. Uh, sorry, this paragraph will be, uh, long text will be broken. Now, what happened? Now, I will add it to our, sorry, I have to give a colon, okay, fine. Now, what I will do, elements dot append. Now, this, this one, what I am going to do is paragraph, paragraph, then I add it, uh, my para small this this paragraph i have imported at the top let me complete a g paragraph now here i will put a comma and add style so to this element i am adding it this element is the blank list here i am adding it paragraph this paragraph is what i have imported at the top here it is there yeah here it is so this paragraph module and I am, I am adding this whatever the each each loop one 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 line break it will take it so this is what is appending now that's fine now what i will do i will add some gap between the paragraph or between the lines some space so for that spacer is there elements dot append again i am adding now i am saying spacer this that it will take two parameter 112 means this is the height sorry this is the width and this is the height if you want to increase the gap between that this 12 you in keep on increasing or decreasing based on whatever you want that's all now i have a uh, particularly this ready my uh, elements are ready or this element list is ready now now what i will do i'll build the pdf document using flowable so i'll write the code here one line code only doc build Now, where is the doc has come because this doc is where it is here it is I have run this one fine so this doc I am using it here so let me just yeah doc build element now it is available now what I will do is I will download it to my local system so what what it has built my path whatever I have given so from this is a feature of the collab so from google dot collab import files now what happens files download now what i will download is my pdf dot pdf this file i am asking it uh, to download this is available here let me just uh, okay it has not created so it is not available right now it will be available once i refresh this so let me run this one by one up to what point here i have run it so now let me just run this text. So long text variable is created. This one I am running. Fine. This one again. Then doc build. Okay. Now this one I am, this would create a down, give me a uh, file save option for my local file. Let's just see that. It's running it. It has given me a my pdf earlier it has uh, my pdf2 so now my pdf3 is given me so now let me just refresh this will be also available here it is my pdf is available here this even here also i can use it download delete download download is there i can do that also that's all friends hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any doubts suggestions questions use the comment section below to post it Next part, we will see another way of creating this long paragraph and using automatic line breaks and all. Keep experimenting with on this and anyway, you can po 
post your feedbacks and all below in the comment section and my request is please please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we are adding new new tutorials and we are frequently doing that also please share this with your friends and thank you for watching